Residents of a low-income apartment building in Northeast Portland say they feel unsafe because of what's allowed to go on right outside their doorstep. Fox News' Will Metzl tells us how the apartment owner is now responding to this. Well, well, Stephanie and Nora, residents of the Louisa Flowers apartment complex say they are afraid to go outside because of the rising crime. They say their concerns are not being heard by management. Patricia Golding came to Portland last year from out of state. She says after family issues, she needed a new start. But the Louisa Flowers apartments in the Lloyd District were not what she had in mind. Put the beds down and put the, like, build them a little fort right there and sit there and they do all their drugs. It's, I mean, it's, it's a very unsafe, unsafe environment. Golding says she's appalled by what she sees just outside her door every day, including drug use and prostitution. She says management isn't concerned with stopping it. They have these new managers come in that start everything either all over or do it a different way, and there's no consistency. She says that also extends to dealing with tenants. She says it led to her daughter sleeping outside in a tent because a management change didn't approve her lease. A management gave her a key, a fob, um, and did everything except for sign the lease with her, and then they switched uh, to uh, new management within that time that they were supposed to sign my daughter's lease. Home Forward, which owns the Louisa Flowers, acknowledges weighty challenges at the building and changing management. Home Forward said in a statement, in part, a new security firm started at the building and we will open an office on site for supportive services this fall. The Portland Bureau of Emergency Communications sent Fox 12 statistics of calls for the last two years at the address. In 2021, there were 532 calls and in 2022, it jumped 22% to 651. Resident William Clendenin feels that theft and trespassing are enforced less than when the building opened in 2019. They fined them $50 fines, but now nobody does that anymore. Golding says the constant issues with management has her worried for her daughter's safety. It bothers me every day because I don't really, I'm not allowed to help my child, basically. You know what I'm saying? Because, because of where I live. Home Forward says some contractors there have been replaced with its own staff recently. They feel confident that the new building manager can improve safety going forward. Will Metzold, Fox 12, Oregon.